Welcome back everybody. More Don and Dynasty gameplay here for you guys tonight. And uh taking on the best pitcher in Diamond Dynasty. Well, at least, you know, the way I've had success with him. Blackjack McDowell's on the mound for this guy. He's striking out Tavon right there on a nasty curveball. That's what McDowell does. He uses the curveball, uses the splitter. And Matt Carpenter, he gets base hits. That's what he does in real life. It's what he does in this game right here. Opposite field, easy hit. Now his Kriggy guy's up, and he goes up the middle past Tavon Austin. He will have Carpenter stop at second base. And Dante Bichette is up now. Going to try and get this high fastball by him. And he takes it opposite field. But Giancarlo Stanton right there. And he's not going to want to test Giancarlo Stanton. Even though he hit the cutoff, man. Now Victor Martinez is up. It's an 0-2 count. Going to throw the curve. And he's going to swing and miss. Throw down to first base in time. Getting us out of that one. Right there, so now Giancarlo standing up here, top second, one out, and he goes right back up the middle with a hard hit line drive. And that's going to be the first hit of the day for the Enigmas. So Ted Williams up, one out, the full count, and he's going to hit into a double play. All our hopes and dreams of scoring to run in that inning crushed just like that. Now it's a 2-2 two -two count right here, and it's going to be a check swing right there from Cliff Floyd. And that's going to be very crucial because uh, Cliff Floyd right here, just kidding. It is still going to be very crucial. So we're going to have the walk right there. And Cliff Floyd with his, you know, amazing speed in the mid-60s is going to take uh, second base right there. And now, um, actually, no, we don't have Tavon second, actually, I don't think. Yeah, Cole Wands at second base. Sorry about that. Tavon's a catcher. I have Tavon at second base, though, well, right now. I just get confused. Uh, but Blackjack McDowell is up, 2-1 pitch, and it's a ground ball to 2 low. That's going to score a run, the clip cut off, so I, so I couldn't show the uh, whole thing right there. But George Brake going opposite way, and yeah, he's going to come up just a little bit short right there. So now Mike Trout is up, 1-2. Mike Trout takes this into center field. It's hard hit, it's deep, but... Detroit center field is uh, just a little bit too deep. So now Victor Martinez is up to lead off the fourth inning here against Mr. Nolan Ryan. And he's going to throw a changeup, and Victor Martinez knows what to do with that changeup. Takes it opposite field, and Ted Williams can't make the catch in time. So Cliff Floyd is the batter following Mr. Victor Martinez, and he's going to go opposite field. This one's got some carry to it. It's going to go over the fence, but Ted Williams has other ideas. He says, give me that. It's not going to happen today. No back-to-back -back home runs for you, sir. And Nolan Ryan just still in the game. He's going to strike out McDowell here, but down 2-0. Well. We need to get some runs. And uh, Nolan Ryan trying to do the best he can to keep them out of the run column and keep this game at 2-0. Colt Wong up top seven. Colton Wong gets a ball right down the middle and pops it up. Always heartbreaking when that happens, when you get the ball right down the middle and your guys just don't know what to do with it. Look at that good timing, splitter, everything was capable of being destroyed. But 3-1 Mike Trout, opposite way. This one's deep. It's back to the track, and that's where it's going to die at the track. It's not going to get over the fence. So now we got Tavon Austin up right here with two outs. Can he get something going? And Tavon Austin, you know, just hits a little dribbler. But because Tavon is OP 99 speed, he's going to uh, make it to first base. So now Will Clark is up. Can we build off of it? And Will Clark going into the gap, but it's going to be cut off by the left fielder. And for some reason, the game really, really wanted me to go home with Tavon, and that rally is crushed. So Ted Williams up here with one out in the eighth, an 0-2 count. And Ted Williams takes the curveball to left field, and it's gone. Ted Williams getting us back in this game, cutting the deficit to one. And two to one now. George Brett up, and George Brett up the middle. I recommend George Brett. That 97 contact is so amazing. And also does not have that bad of fielding stats, but uh, Fred McGriff up to pinch hit. And he gets the good timing right there, and the fastball fouls it off. 
And a hanging curveball is going to be hit into center. It's just a lazy fly ball for the third and final out of the inning. So only one more inning of uh, hitting left here for the Enigmas. And it's a ground ball. Hits Colton Wong. And that's an easy play for Wong right there. Making the easy throw. Mike Trout is up. And Mike Trout is down. Swing and a miss. Early time in the curveball directly down the center of the plate. Tavon Austin is the last hope. And that hope is gone, unless he makes an error, which he doesn't. So that's going to be the ball game. Enigmas take the 2-1 loss. Just couldn't really get it going. Uh, opponent capitalized on uh, more of his opportunities than we did. So that is going to end up being the video. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Diamond Dynasty action. And hopefully you don't hear these fireworks in, in the background. They got some fireworks going off. 4th of July. Also, have a happy 4th of July if you are watching this on July 4th, which you should be. So, just going to show this uh, Ted Williams uh, highlight. I'll let this play out, but until next time, guys, I am out.